All right, I'm gonna show you how you can really easily repair the lab or replace the laptop screen on your laptop. All you need is some simple tools. Uh, basically, all you need is a screwdriver. I have a very fine point on this one because you're gonna be dealing with some very small screws. And I also like to have a pair of tweezers because some of the screws can be hard to remove, so I just like to have these around. All right, so basically what happened with my laptop is the screen started going gray and would often freeze, and so, I ordered a new laptop screen from laptopscreen.com. Uh, came in about three days and cost about $80 to replace this screen. And since it's a fairly expensive laptop, it's definitely worth replacing. All right, to start out, we're just gonna simply remove the battery. Back here is also where you'll wanna check your model number when you order a new one. And I have a Dell Studio 1558, and the model number was PP39L. Okay, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and move the battery here. And then with my with my laptop, there's one screw back here that you have to remove. That way you can get to the screen. This is the first screw you'll remove. It's I've also seen some that have two screws here. Alright. No problem. Make sure we don't want to lose any of those. I'm just gonna put them all over here with the battery. All right, and here's probably like the hardest part of the whole thing. These pop right off, but they can, you have to apply a pretty good amount of pressure, but they'll simply snap. Don't worry too much about breaking them. You have to apply a pretty good amount and then just kind of slowly snap around these edges. As gentle as you can, but applying enough force. I haven't had one crack on me yet, so. Okay. All right, that was fairly simple, fairly easy, came off. Now you can basically see the screen where you're gonna be replacing. There's another set of snaps you have to do. You're gonna wanna go ahead and remove this casing here. Also, it's very, just like the other one, should snap off. Mine came off pretty easily that time but it can take a lot more okay so now you have those two pieces removed um, you can see where this connection is this is actually your connection for the screen we'll remove that later first we have to remove these four screws right here that allows the screen to come off all right here we go with the last one And like I said, this is basically a simple home project. Um, I took it to a couple of different people and it was gonna cost around $125 to, for them to repair this and it cost basically nothing for me to do here. Okay, on the back of your screen, you're gonna have to look back. Um, I'm gonna have to remove this simple video jack for your camera and I'm just gonna pull that down and that will be Basically your screen all removed. Okay. Now you'll see right here is what connects this. You have a different cable that you're going to reuse this cable to attach the new screen. And you're simply just going to pull it back. We're going to have to remove all these. Okay, now we have that removed. And that's our old screen. Ah, It looks like we're also gonna have to remove these brackets here, just real quick, so we can have these reattached. Four more screws. And this is just what holds the screen to the laptop, and I forgot we have to move these to the new screen as well. Alright, and there's your simple bracket. Bracket one. Okay. We'll want to go ahead and attach those new brackets to this new screen. Okay, now we're going to do the all-important step of plugging in the new screen here. Do 
be very similar to how we installed the other one. All right, now that we have that, we'll want to make sure we plug this cable back in. We want to have our video. All right, and now we simply, a matter of screwing everything and putting it back together. We'll reattach these pieces real quick. Go in. screw back here all right we can do a simple test to see if this works once we get the battery back in that's simply to turn it back over and you want to hold down the D button and the power button and what we should have is a multicolored oh well we could see that the laptop the screen looks like it's working normally again. We don't have the gray. And holding that, it just pops your screen on, make sure everything's working. All right, and that's our laptop repair for the day. Thank you for watching.